going on everybody? Obviously you clicked on this video and we're checking out um, the filming locations for the movie No Country for Old Men. I am in Marfa, Texas right now. It's a very small little town. Uh, not much going on here. A lot of stuff out of business, you know, that kind of kind of western town you would imagine. There is like a historical hotel that's open that's pretty cool to check out, but uh, I just walked around and, and, and you know, didn't really do anything else. But we are heading to the first location that I have, which is the gate that uh, is the entrance to the hunting grounds where Llewellyn Moss is, uh, you know, finds the money and all that, and where Shigur and the sheriff all meet up to kind of get out there all different times, obviously, if you've seen the movie. Uh, it's the 2007 picture, and it uh, got Best Film Award that year for the 80th uh, something, 80th anniversary of the Oscars, the Emmys, whatever one it is. But anyways, I'm fighting against the sunlight right now, but it should be pretty cool when we get out there. It'll be perfectly sunset, I'm gonna guess, or around there, and we can check out, uh, you know, the gate, and there's one other spot where Shigur, um, takes the air gun that he has and he like, you know, hits that guy in the head with it after he pulls him over with the cop car he stole. So we're going to check out those two first spots and then after that, I got to do more driving to get to the other locations, but that will be instant for you guys. Um, but yeah, so check out the rest of this video. We're going to check out all the No Country for Old Men filming locations um, from the movie and I uh, hope you enjoy. Alright everybody, 30 minutes of driving for me, milliseconds for you. But we're here. It is deadly quiet out here. I made it just as the light's going down. But there it is. The No Country for Old Men fence. Out into the hunting grounds. Now I'm not sure if the drug deal actually like was filmed out there specifically. But it may have been. It is really cold right now. Down here because the sun just went down. But here it is, the No Country for Old Men sign, or sign, gate. This is where Llewellyn Moss comes back to go bring the Agua Man his water. And that's where he really screws himself, but also saves himself, because the tracker in the case would have been found either way. If uh, he, you know, got an early start on running, I guess. But this is it. This is crazy. I'm actually here. And I can't believe... This is where it's filmed. It's so freaking quiet out here. It's insane. There you go, there's a little taste of how quiet it is. There's this other gate right over here. Nothing significant to the movie, but this is crazy. This is the gate. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, so that's why I find it very cool. And I guess if you're watching this, you do too. And I haven't seen anyone on YouTube come to these places and film it, so. Original content. Anyways, yeah, there's my truck chilling over there. It's been trekking along good old Tacoma. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little sticker signifying I was here and I was, yeah, I made it. I'm gonna probably take a photo in front of it or two. And yeah, so let's do that right now and then I'm gonna try my best to get to the location where Shigur kills the man with the Cal air rifle. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know. If you haven't, spoiler alert. So yeah. Alright, unfortunately guys, I'm not gonna be able to get to the where Shigur... Shigur's first... or no, his second kill. And first kill with the cattle gun. But um... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make it there. It's like an hour and 45 minutes away, and it's going to be way too dark to see anything at that point, as you can see. Yeah, we're already losing a lot of light. Now, this gate is awesome. Out here is sick. I really wouldn't mind sleeping here, but I'm going to debate it for a few minutes with myself. Um, see what kind of distance we can make to the other locations to kind of save us some time. All right guys, I just made it here finally to the motel. And I literally was gonna like 
actually stay the night in the room that Llewellyn hides the money, but the, there's no vacancies here, I guess, which seems odd because there's barely any cars in the fucking parking lot and there's a lot of rooms. But who knows, could be like drug dealers or, you know, crazy shit could actually be happening here. Um, you know, you never know. It's snowing here, but there it is. 138. That's the room. Anton Trigger comes from and kills people. And yeah, we'll check it out in the morning. All right, everybody, I'm in Mexico, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, New Mexico, whatever. So it's a winter wonderland, and we're about to go check out the rest of so those no country for old men spots. Um, yeah, the guy told me, I don't know if I said it last night, but he told me there is like no vacancy at the motel that Moss stays at, which seems odd because there's barely any cars in the parking lot, and their sign said vacancy. Which leads me to believe either he just didn't want me to stay because it was really late, and thought I was shady, or shady shit just happens there, so. But I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then we're gonna go check out this other stuff because it's kind of early and I just want to be rolling up on these spots because some of them are, some could be in the hotel room and yeah, so see you guys in a sec. All right, everybody, pulling up on it right. There it is, the Regal Motel. The famous, infamous one. It's probably one of the most famous scenes in the movie, besides the coin flip scene. We're gonna do the Anton Chigurh, pull in, drive around. Look, see, there's no one fucking here. I don't know why I couldn't stay here last night. But, you know, we're dumb. So yeah, my battery's about to die on this camera, so I'm gonna have to do all this on my phone from now on. But, that's fine. That is fine. Room 138. So we're at the motel. That's where it went down. And then there's 139 and shippers, I think, like a few more down. Finally go touch it. Everybody, we are at the next location right after the motel. It's literally right down the street. Obviously, in the movie, it's not supposed to be right down the street, but you know, that's how filming goes. Anyways, uh, we are at Anton Sugar's. I'll show you in a second. Anton Sugar's uh, intersection where he gets hit by the car and he sits on the curb. That's right in front of me right now. I can see it. Um, you know, pays off the boys and says, You didn't see me, and then he walks down the street. So uh, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna film just a quick second of it. It's fucking cold. It's uh, definitely doesn't look like the day of filming because it's snowing, but it's still um, yeah, it's still uh, pretty cool to check out. So here we go. All right, I'm not gonna get out of my car because I just feel like it's kind of unnecessary. Um, so yeah, this is the intersection where Anton Sugar gets hit by the car. There's the curve he sits on you know, houses, all that. Um, obviously, a lot different. It's a winter wonderland at the moment than the uh, desert oasis, no country for old men really is. But yeah, that's the intersection. And he came from that way and this way. And in the book, they describe the people in the car as um, Hispanic people and they're smoking a joint and that's why they missed the stop sign and they could hit him. Um, yeah, definitely. A, if you haven't seen the, the movie or either the book, I'd say maybe see the movie first so you have a good idea and then read the book. But I guess it depends how you feel. But there are some details in the book that are left out from the movie. Um, so yeah. But we're going to move on to the next place. This is a really simple spot, the intersection. Here we go. Next place. Alright guys, we're at the next location. Um, so pretty much behind me, you can see this building. Um, so you can see this building behind you, or behind Shigur, when he's making um, the phone calls after he went to Llewellyn Moss's trailer and took his phone bills and was like calling up people he knew to see where he might be. Um, I believe uh, the 
payphone was somewhere like over here. Obviously, it's not there anymore because it's 2018. The movie was filmed in 2007. Payphones are not really used anymore. And along with that, um, it could have just been put in there for the movie. Um, which I'm guessing it is. They just probably got it from a prop house, set it up on the corner, kind of set it up. I wish it was still here. That'd be kind of cool. But this building's sick. You do see this building. And to get a better view of exactly what you see in the movie, Sugar is about like here, like somewhere right around here, and then you can see the side of this writing on the building. Um, but yeah, that's that spot. Obviously, I'm in a way different environment than they were. All right, so the next spot we're going to is um, sorry. There's the pharmacy where Sugar. Um, buys some medicine to heal himself uh, in the hotel room. There's also the other hotel that um, pretty much this whole this little neighborhood right around is right where the gunfight happens. And the dude in the truck gets shot in the face and then in the throat. And then also the bridge for the border is very close. Sorry, give me my kids. The bridge for the border is very close by. Um, obviously, it wasn't the real border that uh, Llewellyn crosses, and it was a big like stage setup um, for the movie. Uh, the bridge is still there, but obviously, the border crossing, all the looks of the border crossing, aren't there. But we'll go check that out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna look up the next spot. One second. All right, guys. So this is the alleyway that uh, Anton Sugar disappears into. Um, right behind me focus. is where the truck crashes and all that stuff happens. Um, it's a pretty, you know, basic alley, but very important scene where Llewellyn almost gets him and he has to escape and just leave behind his guns, all that stuff. Not, not a shotgun, I guess, but he has Tech 9 or something with him. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check out. Right down the street is the pharmacy that uh, he goes and repairs himself, um, his leg and stuff. So I'm gonna go show you that real quick. But yeah, this is the alleyway. Nothing special. Next spot. Right there is Ill Fields, and I believe that is the pharmacy that he goes to in the movie. Uh, obviously, it's uh not it's a different name and all that and it's changed since the movie but that is where the pharmacy is so again nothing too special but that's where Anton Trevere, um blows the car up right there with uh, the gas tank and then sneaks inside goes behind the counter and grabs all the stuff he needs to fix up his leg Alright, so you just saw the pharmacy, um, obviously nothing too exciting, and I also didn't, there's people like opening up their stores, so I just don't want to look weird as hell, uh, like talking about this film from like 2007, but, uh, yeah, that was the pharmacy, so I mean, it's nothing too crazy, it's obviously changed since the movie, and, uh, I'm sure the movie like put up their own signs and stuff just to make it simple and pharmacy and all that. And you know they they stitch everything together real well to um, kind of make the town seem smaller and the scenes like connected. Um, like if you look at that like truck scene or whatever, where uh, Anton is like in the alleyway that I showed you. Uh, I think if you go back and watch it in the movie, like where the, the buildings behind the Welland are different, I believe than the ones that are like actually across the street from the alleyway. So I'm sure they like kind of picked uh, like an area and then like went back and forth, but I don't know. I have to go back and rewatch the movie again. Um, there is one more spot actually that I forgot about, which is the Eagle Pass uh, Hotel, which it's called in the book and the film. Um, it's some type of historical hotel here. I'm not 100% sure what its real name is. We'll find out like right now. 
and then we'll go check out the bridge and that'll be pretty much all the locations I know of there are definitely more uh, locations you can go check out uh, you know diners and just uh, sm like little things I didn't do but I covered a lot of the big ones um, there is one more place in Albuquerque that's like the last hotel where Llewellyn actually dies and I do want to check that out but it is uh, only if it's really on the way and it's not really worth the stop because it's uh it's all demolished the sign is still there but the whole hotel is gone so like there really isn't much to look at besides like a concrete slab so that's the only reason I wouldn't go do that um, but if it's on the way and I can do it I will um, just give me a second here I gotta look up the location to this uh, historical hotel and then we'll show you that and that'll be that all right guys behind me is the Eagle Pass Motel it's called just the Plaza Hotel um, but it is a historical hotel of some kind. I believe there's stuff going on in there. I don't know if it looks the same inside. I'm not gonna go check it out if it's open. Um, as you can see though, like this doesn't look like where the movie was, obviously. So like I said earlier, obviously movies stitch things together and kind of like create the picture that they want and the way it looks and, you know, kind of shrink the town almost. Um, so like, you know, it's kind of crazy that like Llewellyn and Shigur fighting in here and then he runs down the street just a little bit and then walks out to the car when that scene's all the way way down there so but I'm gonna get out real quick and I will show you what it looks like um, and then maybe we'll go inside I just want to see if it looks the same inside or not I don't know I'm not sure if it is or not but we'll see guys I took a quick video when I was inside there it has changed a lot obviously uh, I'm sure they kind of removed a lot of stuff also I'm not I don't really know how long the the um, hotel has been like doing its thing but um, yeah it's obviously a lot different you know they got a it's all more modern 2007 it may have looked even different when they filmed it more like the original film, but I bet you they had people go in there and kind of like make it look like the 80s. I'm 100% sure. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, um, and now I'm gonna head to the last spot that I know of in this area, which is the bridge, which is the border crossing. And then after that, I'm gonna check that one other spot, but if not, that's pretty much all the No Country for Old Men spots, um, filming locations. There are definitely a couple more um, here and there, like the diners they eat in and stuff like that, and uh, Llewellyn's Trailer Park. Uh, I kind of was right where that was, but I like didn't know it was there. I thought it was uh, in Marfa, and but it happened to be in Sanderson, which I was actually in Sanderson. So, but I just I didn't know it was in there, so I would have checked it out, but I didn't know. Uh -uh. So yeah, let me uh, look up this location to the bridge. We'll check that out. All right, guys, we are at the last and final location uh, for the filming, and uh, this is the bridge that I'm on. This is the bridge that Llewellyn throws the case uh, over the bridge and hides it in the bushes. And this is where pretty much they set up the entire like fake border. Obviously, there's like a train track below, so it's not actually the bushes. Um, I'm not really sure, like, what river they used to, like, film that part of it. But this is definitely the bridge that he walks along. So, yeah. It's the final location I know about, besides the Sand Desert Motel where he dies. Um, so, I'm going to show you that if I can. It's really just the sign, so there's not much to look at but if I come across it, I'll show you. But that's pretty much all the locations for No Country for Old Men. I haven't seen a video of people uh, like actually filming it or like filming the locations. So this is definitely like a first and uh, now people can kind of see it in video. And if you know you want to, it's everything's in Texas, Marfa, Texas, and most of the stuff is here in Albuquerque, or not Albuquerque, is uh, here in uh, 
Las Vegas, New Mexico, and then the one other place is in Albuquerque, but it's gone. And then there are um, over by Marfa. I wasn't able to go there because it was like out of my way, but where Sugar, uh, the first kill with the cattle gun, Sugar does. So yeah, um, that's the bridge. Again, nothing too crazy. It's more, if you're here, it's cool to look at. I'm gonna get back to my car. Hey everybody, thank you for watching the video, uh, for checking out the No Country for Old Men filming locations. Um, if you haven't seen the book or the movie, I highly recommend going and uh, checking those out. And uh, thank you for watching the video, and comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.